All right, so now let's finally get to the video. So vectors, uh, the term vector is used by scientists to indicate a quantity such as displacement or velocity or force that has both magnitude and direction. A vector is often represented by an arrow or a directed line segment. The length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the vector and the arrow points in the direction of the vector. And uh, we denote a vector by printing a letter in boldface, such as this V in bold, or by putting an arrow above the letter, such as V with this arrow on top. And MS note, in my earlier videos, I would bold every equation or symbol, since there were no vectors involved, and it's just easier to see, uh, to see those symbols. Uh, for this video, I will, I will only bold vectors, just so uh, we don't get confused. So for instance, suppose a particle moves along a line segment from point A to point B. Yeah, and uh, the corresponding displacement vector V shown in the figure below has initial point A, the, t the tail, and terminal point B, the tip. We indicate this by writing V is equal to AB, so from A to B with an arrow on top, so it's a vector. All right, so let's say you have a point A, and then you have a point all the way to B here. And now you have an arrow going from point A to point B, and this is the vector V. And since it's not easy to bold by writing, I'm just gonna put a arrow on top. And I'm also gonna add another vector. I'm just gonna do the exact same one here. This is gonna be from A to B. So let's say we have it instead, we'll go from C all the way, and this is, a, let's say it's exactly the same as this setup. So it's parallel to that, to D. So we have C to D. And we'll call this u with an arrow, so u uh, vector. And, uh, and now notice that the vector u equals cd over there has the same length and the same direction as v. So same thing, uh, it looks uh, pretty much the same here. Same length, same direction, just uh, assume my drawing is accurate. Uh, even though it is in a different position. We say that u and v are equivalent or equal and we write u equals v. So these are the same vectors, they're just moved over or shifted, but they're the same uh, arrow, uh, same, same magnitude or length and the same direction. The zero vector denoted by zero in boldface has length zero. And uh, yes, this is on bold. So this is a uh, length, it's not a vector, as zero, but the, the, the vector is zero here, has a length zero. So it is the only vector with no specific directions. So you can think of that as a dot uh, and so on. So combining vectors. So suppose a particle from uh, moves from A to B, so its displacement is A, B, and then this arrow line, so that's a vector. Then the particle changes direction and moves from B to C with displacement vector B, C, as in the figure below. All right, so let's uh, draw that. So let's say you have a particle here, and it goes from, uh, this is A, and it goes all the way to B, and then it moves over to C. We'll say of C here. Yeah, so it, so it goes from uh, A, B to now we go all the way to here. And now what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to, there's another vector we could draw. We can go from A to C, like that. And I'll do that in red. So that's the uh, basically combination of these two. All right, so now the combined effect of these displacements, so again, from A to B, then B to C, is that the particle has moved from A to C. So the same thing as just going from A to C. The resulting displacement vector AC is called the sum of AB and BC, and we write AC with an arrow, the vector equals to AB arrow plus BC. So going from here to here is the same as adding these vectors. Again, we're adding vectors, not just numbers. So in general, if we start with vectors U and V, we first move V so that its tail coincides with the tip of U. So for example, this is U, um, this would be the tip of V there. Or in this case, we're starting from U and V, so then uh, V would be uh, over here and tip of U over there. Uh, so that its tail coincides with the tip of U and define the sum of U and V as follows. All right, so if U and V are vectors positioned so that, so the initial point of V is the terminal point of U, the terminal or end, end point, uh, then the sum u plus v is the vector uh, from yeah, from the initial point of u to the terminal point of v. And the definition of vector addition is illustrated in the figure below. So what we'll have is 
So here, we'll do this here. So the initial point of V is a terminal point of U. So if we have U is a starting one. And so then uh, V starts at the tip of this one. Then the sum, yeah, so this one, let's say go like that. And this is V, like that. So that's U and V. So then th this means then the vector U, the sum U plus V as a vector uh, is from the initial point of U. So the initial point to the terminal point of V. So it goes like that. So this is the definition of vector addition. All right, here I just uh, fixed this, uh, made it a bit neater, and uh, now you can see why this definition uh, is sometimes called the triangle log, because we have a triangle there. So in the figure below, we start with the same vectors u and v, so start there as in the above figure, and draw another copy of v with the same initial point as u. So we'll, we'll uh, copy this, then we'll make this one here over to here. So let's start this over. So we have, all right, so we have u, this is goes to u uh, like this. Let's start it actually all the way here. u goes there, and then we have v goes there. So let's say the exact same copy there, it was a bit smaller, uh, this. And then the next one is, yeah, is uh, we're gonna go in between here. So this one is u plus v, like that. And now we're gonna draw another uh, v, so copy of V with the same initial point as U. So we'll draw one over here. And uh, here I just made it uh, bigger, just uh, pause video and made it bigger. This is V. And then, then this means then our U is gonna be connected over here. This is gonna be our U there. So then this means now uh, we go V plus U is the vector in between. So now we have a U, a U plus V and a, and a V plus U, those are equal. And uh, now completing the parallelogram, we see that u plus v is equal to v plus u. And this also gives another way to construct the sum. So notice another way is, so you notice the u right here, and there's a v right there, both at the center. And then, this, and then the one in between there is a u plus v or the v plus u. So another way to construct the sum is if we place u and v so that they start at the same point, in this uh, case right here. Uh, then u plus v lies along the diagonal of the parallelogram with u and v as sides. So these are all parallel right here. This is parallel with this, and this one is parallel with this. Uh, and uh, this is called the parallel uh, parallelogram law. Uh, and again, note that a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, which is just a four-sided polygon, polygon just any, any random uh, straight edge shape, with parallel opposite sides. Uh, so in other words, uh, we'll, we'll just make a skewed one. So if you have one like this, this, and then uh, how would this look? Let's say you have it like this. Yeah, let's say you have it like this. Yeah, and and uh, here, yeah, I just fixed it up so it looks like uh, this one here. So yeah, basically you have this parallel, parallel, and this one, this one are parallel. So yes, that's a parallelogram. And you can see that these are the vectors there, this vector here, so similar to this setup here. This is more like a rectangle but uh, nonetheless, rectangle is a parallelogram. All right, so now let's move for further or forward and look at example one. And this one states, draw the sum of the vectors A and B shown in the figure below. So this is what we're given. Now we gotta uh, find the sum. And again, you can just move this over and combine the two. So solution, first we translate B and place its tail, so that's the tail right here, at the tip of A, at the tip of A, being careful to draw a copy of B that has the same length and direction. Then we draw vectors A plus B starting at the initial point of A and then ending at the terminal point of the copy of B. So what we'll do is we'll start off with A. We're gonna start off with A right here. And let's draw this uh, exactly like that. So it's more horizontal. So there's our A. And now we're gonna look at our B. Well, actually, instead of even that, let's see what I can do. I'm gonna just copy this. So it's exact, copy, and let's paste it here. So we're gonna copy that, put it here. This is our A. And now we're gonna take this, and uh, we, yeah, we'll just take, uh, just B by, without the B, copy and paste, and we're gonna put this exactly right there. So that is our B. And then we have over here, then we draw the vector A plus B starting at the uh, initial point of A and ending at a terminal. So there's their A plus B, A plus B. 
All right, so that's the triangle law setup. But alternatively, uh, alternatively, we could place B so that, that it starts uh, where A starts. So instead of putting it at the tip, we could put it right over here and then construct A plus B by the parallelogram, uh, parallelogram law. So what we could do is do the same setup here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna copy and paste both, copy, and then paste it here just so that everything's uh, exact. Move this over. So we have we start over here. There's our A and there's our B. Okay, this one's like this. And then we're gonna take this, copy this, move it right here. So that is our B. And now we need to construct a parallelogram. So we'll copy this A. So we need to copy the A. I'll do this. And then we need to construct that. This goes right at the tip here. Then we can copy the B and then paste this. Whoops. Oh, yeah, fix that up here. Just move it over here and then move it just like that. It's a bit hard to get it exact. There. All right. So this is our A. This is our B. And the in between is, well, right here. This is our A plus B or B plus A. Yes, you could uh, write it. Let's do it on this side is A plus B. And this side is B plus A, because you go from B, A. This one is A, B. And uh, yeah, just to make it a bit neat, I'm going to raise these arrows. And the, uh, the sign here, just ignore that. This is just parallel. Yeah, here I just uh, erase that and move it over like that. And now we can have the parallel lines. This one is one line, it's parallel. Though. So yes, that is the parallelogram. Let's move this in the center.